blushed rouge rougey rougey i feel like i finally got my face down and i'm not gonna change this okay what's up car crew and welcome back to the channel it's your girl courtney janine and i'm back with another video i am super excited about today's video because i have finally went makeup shopping you guys it is that time again for the sephora vib sale and you probably saw my sephora sale wish list and recommendations and as soon as the sale started i did go in and pick a couple of things and i asked you all because i went makeup shopping at both Sephora and Ulta and you all told me to not separate them just combine them both into one video so that's what we're going to be doing today it's going to be a huge makeup haul a Sephora haul an Ulta haul all in one if you would like to see what I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale and from Ulta then definitely keep watching but before we get into it if this is your first time seeing me here on the YT hey girl hey my name is Courtney Janine and I do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on this channel so definitely subscribe join the car crew family down below and let's get into today's video all right you guys so we are going to start with ulta i got more stuff from sephora so i feel like we should just get the ulta stuff out of the way all right you guys so first up is actually what i went into ulta for this is the juvia's place blush duo in volume four this retails for 18 dollars, and this is what i was actually going into ulta for i did pick up more things but this is what i was specifically looking for because this has been said to be a dupe for the dior blush and i absolutely love pink blushes i love either Either a pink like baby doll pink sort of blush or I like an orange blush and I cannot wait to try this out because people say that it's super pigmented and I absolutely want a pigmented pink blush this retails for $18 and I cannot wait to try this out I have reviewed um, or I have tried Juvia's Place products before I'm not a an avid <laughs> Juvia's Place wearer but as soon as I saw this I was like I have to pick it up next up is another item from Juvia's Place this is the lip reflect gloss in the color caramel rose i did test this out at ulta and this is such a really pretty nude and i am obsessed with a nude lip combo so i just had to pick this up this is again in the shade caramel rose and i cannot wait to test this out i do want to do a video all on my like testing out my new products so if you would like to see that comment down below but had to snag this this gloss retails for 14 dollars all right you guys next up is a body care item this is the Hemp's Bare Body Orange Nectar and Cashmere Body Moisturizer. This is a limited edition. First things first, they come in three different scents. I absolutely think the packaging is adorable. It's a little bare. And I have been seeing this in Ulta for weeks. I actually really do like this scent. I also like one of the others and I probably will go back for it. But this smells so good, you guys. I love Hemp Body Lotion. I like their sweet melon pineapple something like that but this smells awesome you guys i am going to be doing a hygiene routine i don't know if i'm going to do it this month or if i'm going to wait for court mist but i'm definitely going to be doing a winter hygiene routine and this smells so good i cannot wait to put you guys on to all the smell goods all the body care stuff but i had to pick this up because it's adorable and it smells amazing it smells like orange but still very warm and sweet and that's what i like to smell i like to smell sweet i like to smell like vanilla like fruity sweet you know the vibe this retails for $20 next is another bath body care again I am going to be doing a full hygiene routine soon for the winter so definitely stay tuned for that but this is the fur bath drop nourishing and calming this retails for $40 I cannot wait to try this I don't know who I saw this on but I definitely saw it somewhere on someone's like hygiene routine or something and I just wanted to try it I love a good bath I just feel like it's so relaxing and for day to day I do take showers Hours, but I feel like whenever I want to have a very calming or I just need to relax I will also take a bath and this I think will be so good it's basically a oil blend encased in a seaweed based bath bead it dissolves easily into warm water and gently nourishes your skin cannot wait to try this again i'm going to be doing a hygiene routine so stay tuned for that and the last thing that i got from ulta is the advanced snail 92 all-in-one cream i absolutely love their essence and i have been wanting to try a new moisturizer and i thought that this would be perfect since i already love their essence this retails for 26 yeah this retails 
else for $26 and it was the last one so I just felt like it was meant to be but yeah you guys it's everything that I got from Ulta let me know if you've tried any of the things that I talked about but let's go ahead and move on to Sephora Ooh, we got the big bag not really y'all I saw like there was this one lady I did a pickup order from Sephora and there was this girl who was working for Uber she literally had to pick up five orders and she was taking up so much time y'all i was like bro how many more orders do you have she was like five i was like oh my freaking gosh the first item that i want to talk about is the danessa myrick yummy skin glow serum you guys you all know if you don't know now you know i love a dewy face and i love all things serums i love when there's like just different products to make sure that your base is perfect before you go into makeup like i feel like skincare having these serums having something that makes you like glow from within is what i'm always looking for danessa myrick's yummy skin glow serum heard good things about it actually heard um kenya as told by kenya here on youtube she raved about this and one thing about kenya she is very particular about the products that she uses the products that she recommends so i actually really trust her i haven't tried anything from her before but i feel like she's so specific about things that she likes and doesn't like she's very honest so i wanted to pick this up i picked it up in the color juice boost they do have two different shades this is the darker shade and i went with the darker shade because i have another product that's kind of similar i feel i'm from fenty beauty and i got a lighter shade for that so i was like oh i should get a darker shade with this so that it's not i'm not getting duplicates you know even though they do the same thing i could have a different tint but let me tell you guys how much this costs this retails for 34 dollars. and again you guys with the sale i am a rouge member so it was 20 percent off and just so that you guys know that um um, Sephora collection was 30% off. All right, next up is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau. Oh, you guys, this is a holy grail for me. I absolutely love this foundation. I was running out and this is almost always the first to go. I was actually planning to do an online order and just have it shipped to me, but this was sold out online when I went to go purchase. So I had to pick it up in store and this retails for $49. This is one of my holy grail products. I am going to be doing a updated like well testing new makeup products and you'll see my base routine because that's not going to change i feel like i finally got my face down and i'm not going to change this okay i don't know no matter how many times and i've done a couple like makeup reviews and stuff like that but i always go back to my base routine because i just feel like it's the best for me personally especially with makeup it just took me so long to figure out uh, my specific color and shade and things like that so next up i got a new cleanser this is from tasha this is the rice wash soft cream cleanser i have been using the milk makeup hydro no the milk makeup vegan milk cleanser for years and i love it but i just felt like this was a great time to try a new cleanser and this one caught my eye it's for dry skin and it's a soft cream cleanser i think i saw leah's face use this and i believe she has dry skin as well so i was excited to try this this retails for 38 dollars and i cannot wait to try this i want to do an updated skincare routine i'm gonna try this for a little bit and then come and let you guys know because skincare it takes a minute for it to you know for you to see the changes in your skin so i will update you guys and definitely it gets integrated into my ongoing routine i will do an updated one soon but yeah could not wait to try this next up is the fenty beauty ease drop lit all over glow enhancer in the color taffy topaz so i believe that this is sort of similar to the yummy skin glow serum so that's why i went with the darker color juice boost with the danessa myrick because i already picked up the taffy topaz for the ease droplet and i feel like they're kind of the same sort of product so i wanted to get two different shades anyways this i'm super excited about i absolutely love the ease drop skin tint i mix it with my nars foundation for my everyday makeup routine so i just want it like i said i like a dewy face i like to glow from within so whenever a product like this comes out i am more inclined to buy it because that's the sort of look that i always go for and fenty beauty never disappoints like i cannot tell you a time where i did not like a product from fenty so so could not wait to try this next up i have the new fenty beauty gloss bomb ice cold hearted uh you guys this i absolutely love when they announced this i wanted to get it like asap but then i was like let me just wait this is basically a basically this is a cooling lip plumper and i've never had one of those before so i cannot wait to try this again it's in the shade cold hearted this gloss bomb retails for 24 dollars, and this ease drop retails for 34 and again this comes in four shades 
the Danessa Myrix comes in too. So if you like those types of products, maybe just consider buying one. I don't know. Next up, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder. This is in the shade Tan Deep. One thing about me is, and I talked about this in my recommendations video, so if you saw that, this is gonna be like a broken record. But one thing about me, I love to look like I'm from the UK, okay? And the UK baddies love a good brighten. Under eye, okay? So I saw this on TikTok, had to try, had to pick it up. I cannot wait to see what I think about it. It's actually funny because I picked this up and then um, a couple days ago, Aaliyah's face <laughs> dropped a video and she said how she hated this so we'll see she said that it has some glitter in it and i did not get that from the tiktok that i saw but you know on tiktok i don't know so we'll see if i like it i'm excited though because i love a good brighten under eye this retails for 46 dollars so girl that's a cute little penny so i wanted to get it while it was on sale next thing is another skincare pickup this is the clarence double serum oh you guys this has been a holy grail since college i believe i've told this story before but basically i went to ulta and they were giving away samples and I got a sample of this serum. Wanted to buy it then, but the girl was a broke college student, okay? And this is like a hundred some, how much is this? This is $130, whoo, a pretty penny. So I always like to get it on sale. This serum is so good, you guys. I love how it makes my skin feel and look. It just looks so youthful. It definitely, definitely, definitely is a holy grail for my skincare. Probably will never stop using it. And I do have a second cart building up. <laughs> I only have two more days of the sale, but, um, they also have a eye serum and I've been looking for an eye cream so I think I'm gonna pick up the eye version of this because I actually when I went in to pick up my pickup order in store I went to try it out and I just like rubbed some of my I rubbed some of my eyes and it literally was amazing like it just uh, I think I'm gonna pick it up but this is just a must-have for me um in my skincare routine and I was running out it says double serum and there's like two sides to the serum now in my current bottle I'm only down to like one side I don't know how that works but literally I am trying to get the last and it was just time to re-up so glad that the sale happened now because otherwise I would have been waiting for a sale to come around because this stuff is not cheap at all next up is the Dr. Dennis Gross daily pill like I mentioned before I don't use this daily but um it has become one of my favorite steps of my routine when i use it it's kind of like a special portion of my routine i don't use it every day but when i just need it a little umph in my nighttime skincare routine i bust this out works super well this retails for 88 dollars and i think it comes with 35 treatments so it basically it just is a i guess a light chemical pill for smooth radiant everyday skin i saw Kyra use it didn't really i didn't really think that it would work but I definitely see a difference every time that I use this daily pill again I don't use it daily I use it as like a special treatment but it works girl it leaves my skin so glowy so soft and I absolutely love it and um like I mentioned before I do want to film an updated skincare routine so if you're interested in that let me know but yeah you guys that definitely is something that I could not pass up next up is a fragrance this is Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry I talked about this in my recommendations video but I I have been loving me some Tom Ford Lost Cherry and it's just too expensive. So when Kayali came out with this and everyone was saying that it smells just like it, I knew I wanted to pick it up because this is only $85 compared to the $300 that Tom Ford be asking for. So I knew that I wanted to pick this up during the sale and it smells so good, you guys. Again, I recommend anytime you're purchasing fragrances, definitely suggest that. In these current times, girl, go smell that fragrance smell it before you buy um i absolutely love this fragrance and how it smells so i had to add this to my collection next up is another gloss bomb everyone raves about this shade which is sweet mouth i had to pick it up it's like the perfect pink i believe and i love a good pink so i had to pick it up i want to kind of compare and i am on a quest to own all the gloss bombs i don't know if i actually will but i pretty much own all of them so I had to pick this up because I this is a older gloss bomb that I just never bought so excited to see how this one compares and last but not least we have another body care item I am obsessed with Necessaire I actually picked up their scrub and their body wash and their sandalwood scent and I kind of am not the biggest fan of that I really like the eucalyptus scent and they have a bergamot um scent that I kind of want to try but their body serum the body oil 
oil and the body lotion, a bomb. I also love the scrub and the body wash, but I just don't like the scent that I picked it up with. Again, you guys, I am planning to do a winter hygiene routine, so stay tuned, okay? And thumbs up this video if you would like to see that. But the body serum is one of my necessary steps in my body care routine because it just makes my skin super soft and it's just the perfect prep before I go in with my lotion. And it's unscented, so a lot of the things like my, my lotion and my um, body wash, my soaps are scented. So I like when I have some, you know, base things a part of my routine that doesn't really clash. Um, so this is something that I, even though I might switch up my body butters or things like that, this always stays the same. Um, my body lotion from Necessaire always stays the same. I might put stuff on top, but this is uh, like my base. And I absolutely love this. And yeah, you guys, that wraps up today's haul. Let me know what you picked up from the Sephora sale, if anything, or what your recent makeup pickups are. Or if you picked up some skincare, body care. Let's chat down below because I feel like more and more, well, I did get a bunch, I did get pretty, I kinda got even even amount of stuff like from fragrances like body care to skincare to makeup but let me know um what you picked up during the sephora sale if i do purchase my last card um i will probably do a part two but i don't know if i will i kind of think i will because i just i don't know i don't want to miss out on this great sale but yeah you guys let me know what you picked up from the sephora sale if you've tried anything that i talked about today let's chat down in the comments and i will see you all in my next one bye guys